Hello there YouTube, it's Stephanie and I'm here for the Color Crazy Gals All Year Color Collaboration with Poet Spice. And first I want to say thank you to Poet Spice for extending this all year. I love coloring in different ways using different mediums. So I'm glad to be back as part of the collaboration. So tonight I'm going to do a process video on this card that I made for the Embossy Punch Bunch collaboration with Poet Spice. That's going to end this Sunday, but I made this and I said I would do a process video. So tonight that's going to be my coloring project and at the end I'll show you another card that I made similar to this one. But tonight we're going to make a masculine card in a similar way. Okay, so here's what we'll be using. First we're going to use our foam pad. We're going to use this Stampin' Up! Punch that I used before. We're going to use Potter's Clay Memento ink, and I love the little ink dewdrops. And we're going to use Rich Cocoa because we're going to do it in two colors this time. Here's my card base, and these are from Tuesday morning. They sell a pack of card bases already scored near a uh, different color cardstock, and I love it. Here's my mat, and then I've already uh, embossed my top layer and this is a Doris die called license plates and so I thought that would be perfect for a masculine card and then this is um, the piece we're going to use to cut out our uh, sentiment and this time we're going to do a happy birthday I already put it on my block uh, ready to stamp and we're going to use our brayer to put our color on I have my handy dandy baby wipes on my side and I have my pop ducts to pop up my sentiment and we're going to use this Dollar Tree glue. Monica, who is scrapping for my boys here on YouTube, she did a comparison video. And I went out and bought some, and I love this glue. Go get you some at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so this video won't take very long. So let's get started. So I've already embossed the license plates. And here they are. Hopefully you can see that. They came out very well. And I didn't want a stark white card for a male card. I just wanted something a little bit more subdued. So we're going to move this other, these other items out of the way so we can go ahead and color our little um, piece here. Now I'm going to use my foam underneath because the foam actually helps to put the color on a lot better. Just as you would use it in stamping. So all we're going to do... I'm going to put Rich Cocoa on one side and the brayer rolls so I do it in the same spots a couple times just so that we can get it all over. And then on the other side we're going to put our, um, what color is this, Potter's Clay. So that way we have kind of an ombre effect but you can do one color or you can do three colors, it's up to you. But just be sure to get the color all over your brayer. And now we're just going to roll our color on. And if you'll notice, the foam helps the color to go on a lot better. See, we have two tones. And I love it. So we're going to do it one more time just so we can cover the edges. This is the darker color. I'm putting it back on this side where we had it. And I'm actually just going to roll this color on this side for now. And I'm not worried about color getting on my foam pad because I can easily wipe that with a baby wipe. And then on the other side, I'm just going to roll some more of my potter's clay. And we'll take care of the edges on the other side. I think this is coming out beautifully. And if you look, there we have multiple colors all at one time. Now we do have some light spots, but I'm not worried about those like here. If you want, you could do yours again, but I'm satisfied with it for the video. So I'm going to cover up my ink because I don't want to make a mess. And I'll just sit my brayer to the side. I can wipe it later. It'll be fine. But I am going to wipe my foam pad right now. And you see the ink here. And baby wipe gets it up perfectly. 
love my foam gushy pad. And just for now, I'm going to turn it over and use the other side, and we're going to stamp our sentiment. Okay, so here's our piece we're going to stamp our sentiment on, and for our sentiment, I think I'm going to use the darker color. Or, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a two-tone sentiment. So, I'm going to use the potter's clay on the word birthday. Hopefully, oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. We're going to put potter's clay on the birthday, which is the lighter color. And I'm trying not to make a mess. And we're going to put the rich cocoa on the word happy. I'm just trying to make sure I stamp it up pretty good. And then we're going to stamp it on our piece so that we can punch it out. Now I leave mine for a a second or two so the ink has time to transfer and we there we have it I got some of the dark ink on the top of the word birthday but I'm okay with that I think that's absolutely adorable okay so now we get our punch and all we have to do is look right through and actually what I need to do is cut off some of the bottom because can't get far enough so if you can't get far enough you just cut it off and this is a scrap piece of paper so I'm not worried about am I wasting paper I try to use scraps when I can there we go so I just center it up as best I can and we punch and there's our sentiment Now, I also went around the sides and distressed my sides, and that's another reason why I love these small inks, because you can distress your, your work very easily without using a distressor or anything. You just use the ink pad itself, and we're just about done. There it is. There you have it. And so now all we have to do is put our little card together. So where's I'm gonna wipe my hands because I don't want to get transfer colors, ink colors, and I got ink everywhere already. So we're gonna get our base. We're gonna move this out of the way for now. We're gonna get our base and we're gonna get our mat and use our Dollar Tree glue. I love using wet glue on cards simply because if I need a little wiggle room time, I have it. If I use my ATG, I don't have that time. So, and I'm not looking for perfection, but we are looking to have a nice looking card. So that's why I love wet glue. There's our mat. And then we're going to put our centerpiece down. So here we go. And again, I love wet glue because I need that little time. Okay, here we go. And the Dollar Tree glue, I believe it dries clear as well. So, love it. There we go. And then our little sentiment. Now we have to figure out where do we want to put it. Do we like it up there? Do we like it down here? I think I like it actually up there. So we're just going to get our little foam dots and we're going to pop it up.
and we're almost done with our little card here and like I said very easy doesn't take that much time the most time is picking out your sentiment and which embossing folder and your colors that's what always takes me the longest okay we got our little pop dots and of course the paper doesn't want to come off when I need it to come off of course it doesn't and of course if I was doing a female card it would be some bling on it but because it's not a female card I'm not worried about blinging it out and then we want to try and center it and that's off okay there we go so now we have a masculine happy birthday card I think it turned out pretty decent pretty good and you can do whatever you like to the center so I just want to share with you another card that I made using the same process and this would be a female birthday card and I just put the bling in the centers around the sentiment so please if you like my video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel check out all the ladies that are part of the color crazy gals collaboration please 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 check out Jamie's channel she is fabulous thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful weekend